Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing day so far. So I am sitting here, no makeup on, which you know what that means. We are going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup products today. And I just kind of had a little makeup shopping spree. I was in the mood to test out a bunch of new products. So I went to Sephora, got a bunch of stuff there, and then I also hit up Nordstrom and got some stuff there. So I think today, because I wasn't sure what I wanted to test out today. I think today I'm going to stick to all Sephora. So these are all new products that you can get at Sephora. I picked up two new concealers, which I'm very excited about. You know I have a concealer obsession. I love testing them out. I'm over 40 years old and extremely picky with concealers. So I really let you guys know what is worth it and what is not. I am going to try out the new Anastasia concealer today. Super excited about this, as well as the new Rose Ink Concealer. And the Rose Ink is a new concealer clean brand I think that just launched on Sephora so I'm really excited about that you know I love my clean makeup brands so we're gonna play with this on one eye and this concealer on the other eye as well as I picked up the new Charlotte Tilbury the super nudes easy eye palette and it looks like this so cute and you guys know I love my easy nudes sounds really weird <laughs> but you guys know I love my easy nude eye looks so I'm like oh this palette like literally was made for me because that is all what I'm about and then I picked up the new Gasm Face Palette by Charlotte Tilbury as well. And it's super, super pretty. I just love like nudie, like kind of basic, like easy everyday looks. That's totally me. So this looks super gorgeous as well. So we're gonna test out the two new Charlotte Tilbury those concealers. Oh, and then I picked up the new Makeup Forever. One of their new artists, Shine On Lipsticks. So super cute. We're gonna try that on as well. And then just, you know, some other random good makeup products that I'm loving at the same time. And I haven't done a video like this in forever. I can't wait to test these products out with you guys. So before I zoom in and get started and get ready for the day here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join us here. We're all about getting the best skin of your life. And I am here to help you with that, whether it's skincare, or makeup, we are going to get the best skin, no matter what your age. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification right next to it. Even if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Let's get ready together today. Grab some coffee, grab something to drink. I got my cold brew sitting right here as always. Let's get started. All right, so as you guys know, I don't wear foundation on most days. I usually wear my tinted SPF as my foundation and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use the Color Science the Total Protection Face Shield Flex. These are my favorite right now for really giving my skin that light coverage, just evening out your skin, but it actually has like like light to medium coverage, you guys. Like it's super, super good. And then you don't have to wear foundation and you get the healthiest skin by not wearing foundation every day. So I actually mix the two of these together, the shade medium and the shade tan. It comes in four different shade options. You can even mix the glow, the Color Science Glow. You can mix the Color Science Bronze in with this. And you can just like mix and match them and get different shades, different finishes. And it's kind of like the most fun thing ever. So I'm gonna take medium and tan and I'm gonna mix those on my hand and apply those to my skin now like i said it just gives me the perfect amount of coverage and then i don't have to wear foundation which is literally the best so i just mix those two in my fingers like this they come out white if you guys have not seen i mean i've talked about this so much on my instagram and on youtube but they come out white and they have these little pigment spheres they're little mineral pigment spheres in here and then when you apply them to your skin they will bring out the color and they also color adjust to you. So even if it's like slightly off, they will color adjust, which is amazing. So I mix the two of those together and I'm going to just apply them all over. And these give such a good like natural finish too. It's not super glowy, it's not super matte. It's just a good natural finish. So we're gonna start with our eyes first. I'm gonna take the MAC Pink Pot in the shade Lay and Low. It's a really pretty kind of just beigey peachy tone and as you can see I use this pretty much every day to prime my eyelids and just really like even them out take away any little redness and I just get a little fluffy brush and just pick up some of this it's a, it's a cream product super easy to go on it just blends on your eyelids so easily and I just take this across my eyelid and just even everything out it keeps your eyeshadow in place as well as 
like I said, just evening out like any little red, red tones or little blood vessels. A lot of people's eyelids are a little bit like either like purplish or red because the skin is so thin there. So just evening them out before your eyeshadow just creates just like a more even base. Okay, so this is what the new Super Nudes palette looks like. It's more warm tones. There's like one uh, cool tone. The black's a little bit, obviously a little bit cool tone, um, but the rest are more of like a warm tone, neutral browns, just easy everyday looks, which right up my alley. So I'm gonna take this medium warm brown shade. We're gonna apply that to the crease area. And I have not had to do much eye makeup since getting lash extensions. Like I said, it just, like just, it's the craziest thing. You can get away with obviously less makeup. And even when I had my normal lashes, I was using Revitalash, which gave me really long lashes. You could still get away with less eye makeup. So it's kind of fun because I can get ready super, super quick. All right, so I'm just taking this eyeshadow, like I said, and just kind of going just along the crease here. Then I'm gonna take a flat like shader brush and I'm gonna go in to the lighter uh, brown color on the end here. And we're gonna put this right on the lid. This is gonna be a very easy eye look because it's just kind of a neutral everyday look. I'm just totally my thing. People are always like, why don't you wear colors on your eyes and make it a little bit more bold and interesting. I'm like, I have kids. I have to go pick them up at school. I have to run errands. Like I am not the mom to be running around with like bright green eyeshadow or something. It's cool if you are, I just cannot pull that off. So I like to keep my neutrals because then I can leave the house and feel like me, you know? Okay, so then I'm gonna take this brown right here. It's like a good like warmer, darker brown. I'm gonna take that with like kind of a little bit smaller brush and I'm just going to take this right along just the outer part, just a little bit sweeping it up. Just like that, it just deepens up the outside a little bit. So I'm not gonna do any eyeliner. I have not been wearing any eyeliner since I got lash extensions, which is another plus, because I hate doing eyeliner. But if I was gonna do eyeliner, it's perfect, because you can easily just take this black shade and just get like a tiny little pencil brush and just line your eyes with that eyeshadow and it's super fast. That's what I used to do all the time. So I love that they have a good black in here that you can just easily use as liner. But I don't need that right now. Lash extensions, I'm telling you, save you time. That's the only reason I have them right now. It's a time saver. All right, so that is really all I'm gonna do for the upper um, eye look, which I think is super easy, really pretty colors. Like I said, they're just basic nudes. Um, but Charlotte Tilbury has great powder eyeshadows. I love her cream eyeshadows, honestly, too. Um, but they blend so well and they don't have fallout. They last forever and the, they just are so easy to work with. So I love this on just good neutral days and the warm tones are actually like perfect for like the fall and you know the winter that we're going into i feel like i always reach for more of those like warmer browns coming you know like the fall season and stuff so i like this palette super cute now let's get into the good stuff let's get into testing out the two new concealers i'm going to use the anastasia on one eye and the rose ink on the other so let's start out with the anastasia of beverly hills first this is the magic touch concealer this is supposed to be like a medium to full coverage concealer supposed to have a lot of pigment, um, last forever, zero creasing, you know, all the good stuff that they say. So I'm excited to test this out. This is like a huge, like, how much do you get in here? This is a 12, 12 ml or 0.4 fluid ounce. What is this one? The rose ink is 0.36 fluid ounce. So yeah, the Anastasia is pretty much. And then it has like a bigger doe foot applicator. I'm going to start out with like a smaller amount because I do hear, I think I read that um, only you know, it only takes like a little bit like a little bit goes a long way so I'm gonna apply this let's just do like a little bit and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that in under my eye on the side oh my gosh yeah this has oh my gosh this is like good coverage like I didn't even put that much on Oh yeah, that's like a definite like, that is like a good like 
pretty much full coverage, to be honest. You know what's so funny? I like hate watching myself back when I put concealer on. I hate how your like your eye just like looks so crazy. I think that every time I have to edit myself doing concealer, I'm like, oh my god, try to keep your eye looking normal, but you can't. You have to like look up when you're doing concealer, right? Does anyone else do that? I feel like when you watch yourself put makeup on, you're like, oh god, like thank god my boyfriend or my husband's not watching me do this. All right, so there's the Anastasia. That is just a little bit too. A little bit definitely went a long way for sure and that is a good coverage you guys that is definitely i would say like pretty full coverage i don't know if i've gotten much more of a full coverage to be honest that's like really pretty it's smooth it looks good and yeah that's the anastasia all right rose ink that's what we're gonna apply to the other side oh the anastasia I'm using the shade number nine in, uh, for reference for anybody who wants to know my shade. The Rose Ink, I got LX50. That is the shade we're trying with this one. All right, so this one comes out. Still a pretty good size doe foot applicator as well. Um, let's test this one out. Like I said, the Rose Ink is a clean brand too. Anastasia obviously is not a clean, you know, good for your skin makeup brand, but Rose Ink is supposed to be clean. I honestly have not looked at the exact ingredients of it. I saw it was clean but I was bought it on a whim and I did not actually look at ingredients, which is very unlike me. Um, so I will have to do that as well. But let's take this concealer and apply it to the other side. Let's compare two new concealers. You guys, I love doing this. I love comparing different concealers too. It's, like, it's so fun for me. I do this all the time. Even when I have like two concealers that I've used for a while, like I love putting them up next to each other and like really testing them out next to each other. Cause sometimes when, even when you love two concealers, it's fun to, like I said, to kind of like put them next to each other and see like what's the difference between the two and you know, which one you really love the most. That is actually pretty full coverage too, you guys. Wow, like it's still really smooth. Honestly, the coverage looks about the same. What do you guys see? Now on camera, it might come out a little bit different. Like the lighting always, I think it's on this side, always creates a little bit more of a shadow under my eye. I don't really know why. I feel like my lighting is the same on both sides. I don't know. Um, but I feel like always the one side always has a little bit more of a shadow. But when I'm looking at them like up close, I see them as pretty much the same coverage. So let me know what you see as well in the comments. Okay, the rose ink one definitely has good coverage though. It's really pretty under my eyes too. Okay, so far, so good. All right, we are gonna set both the under eyes today with the Derma Blend, the Illuminating Banana Powder. This is just one of my all-time favorite under eye setting powders. Again, for more mature skin, it is amazing. It gives a slight luminosity to it, and it's very slightly yellow. It's not like a banana powder, like those yellow banana powders that make me look jaundiced, like I cannot pull those off. But it's like a really, really light, light pale yellow, which just brightens up the under eye so beautifully. And this powder does not look like powder under the eye. It doesn't crease or cake up throughout the day. It just keeps your under eye looking flawless and just, you know, brightened up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this onto my beauty blender and we're gonna do both sides and set both sides with this. And I just take a little powder and just dab it on. And I've been using a dry beauty blender lately for my concealer application and for my powder. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, I've been doing the, the dry sponge thing lately and I, I've been enjoying it, you guys. I was always doing like the, the damp sponge but lately I've been doing it dry and I feel like it just keeps more product obviously on your under eye and gives a little bit more coverage and I haven't had any issues like with it making me look like dry or cakey or anything. I just get a little extra coverage out of it. I'm going to take a little bit of that powder and set just like right down the smile lines and just brighten those little suckers up. All right, then I'm gonna set my entire face with the Osmosis Press Base. I always set my foundation or SPF in this matter um, with this powder because it just keeps everything in place. It mattifies it just slightly, you know, um, and then it just perfects your skin. It is the best powder of life. You can use this alone as foundation. It has, you know, decent coverage for a powder foundation, but it's my everyday just go-to setting powder to keep everything 
perfected. So going back to finish up the under eye, I am just gonna take a little smudge brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of that medium warm brown shade in the middle here again and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that and smudge it under my eye. Just to kind of finish off the eye look and I'm not even gonna put mascara on the bottom um, lower lashes. I'm just gonna just gonna use a little shadow under there. Eye look is complete. I think that palette's super cute and if you want some good neutral warm you know eye colors I think it's a good little you know to go little palette too. So super cute and now we're gonna play with the face palette. So this has two contour shades and then two highlighter shades. I am gonna take the darker of the contour shades and you guys I have not like, I have not been wearing much bronzer, contour, anything. I've just been slapping some blush on. I always put a little bit of blush on, and then I put the blush a little bit on my, like, you know, like temple area, and that is it. I just feel like, I don't know, it's such a youthful look. So I've honestly not been doing the whole bronzer and contour thing. I feel like that can, like, age you a little bit sometimes, and I feel like the more products you put on sometimes can age you. So I've just been keeping my makeup super fresh. But this palette did intrigue me. Um, I'm gonna take, like I said, the darker of the two contour shades and I'm gonna use this brush, which if you are using bronzer or contour, you need this brush. It's the Fenty Beauty, um, the, no, this isn't the brush. This is the brush. The Fenty Beauty was one that I liked before I found this one. This is the one you need, guys. It's the Patrick Ta. It's the Contour One brush. This is the best brush for bronzer or contour, like I said get it. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to apply that shade right there, pick some up on the brush, and this brush just takes it and just applies the perfect color, the perfect amount. You can push it right up into your hairline. It is the best brush with every bronzer or contour that I've tried. It's the best brush. Ooh, this color is really pretty, you guys. This is making me want to play with bronzer on a daily basis more, <laughs> uh, but, but I really like it. That's a really, really pretty, like, not too cool, not warm, like the perfect tone. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and just buff some into the cheekbone area a little bit. This brush just gets right in where you need to be too. That's why I really like it. Because I always like, I feel like I always go a little bit heavy handed with bronzer or, or contour. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Osmosis Press Base and then I just kind of go over everything and just kind of make sure it's all blended in because there's nothing worse than having like, like a contour outline or a bronze outline, you know? I have to always make sure I blend it in so we don't see that. So I'm gonna keep things, like I said, super nude today and I'm gonna use the MAC Blush in the shade Harmony, which is a very, very nude, blush and I it's an oldie but a goodie I've had this forever I went digging through all my blushes because I wanted to find something just super nude you like a bronzy nude but a blush so this is what I found and I really you know forgot about this blush but it's super good so I'm gonna take my blush brush get some of that on and I'm just going to take that on the cheeks super pretty all right, let's finish up with some of the highlighter now. And you guys know I have not, this is another thing, I have not been using powder highlighters at all. Everything I've been using has been a cream highlighter and just something that melts into my skin. But we're gonna play with this one today because I love her highlighters though. They're always so smooth. Um, so we're gonna try these out today. And I think I'm just gonna actually use my finger and apply some of that. Let's try out this shade. There's two different tones here. I'm gonna take this shade right here. Let's see what this does. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's take the other shade on top. Let's play with them both. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, that one's, they look really good together. Ooh, that's super pretty. That's a good, that is a good glow. Yeah, super good. I'm gonna take my brush again and just kind of go over everything. I like everything to kind of blend and melt into my skin and look natural. All right, we're gonna finish up with lips. I'm gonna take my favorite lip liner of life, the Wayne Goss Lip Liner in the shade Sepia. This is like the lip liner I literally wear every day. 
All right, let's try out the new Makeup Forever, the Artist Shine On Lip Colors. I got this in the shade 182 Jolly Blush. So let's play with this. I've not even worn a lipstick in forever either. I've just been wearing gloss. But the reason I wanted to try this is because it's supposed to be like a lipstick slash gloss. Like it's supposed to give like a more shiny, like glossy finish, which I'm all about. I don't want matte lips. That's not me. I like a good glossy look to my lips. So let's see if this actually does that. Ooh, it's really pretty. It feels really good and moisturizing on my lips and it does have a good little shine to it. It doesn't feel matte or dry at all. I am gonna put a tiny little bit of gloss on it because I do like to gloss it up a little bit more, but it is like really nice feeling on the lips. Ooh, I like the, the way it feels. It does have like a little bit of a fragrancy scent, which I'm not a big fan of in lip products. It's not like insane, but I can definitely, I can smell my lips. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. And I'm just gonna apply that right on the center of my lips. And then we're super up close so I can show you the final result but show you the two concealers up close as well. So you get a really good look at what they look like. I think they both look really good. So I mean, obviously so far I'm gonna go about my day and check back in with you guys later and see how they, you know, really hold up because that's obviously the test. But, you know, first, you know, application and first glance and first thoughts is they both look really good. I feel like they both have really good coverage. They're smooth. They look really nice on the under eye. This is the Anastasia. That's the Rose Ink. All right, so there it is. There's the final look using a bunch of new makeup products from Sephora. I think the look turned out super pretty. You guys saw the concealers up close. Let me know what you think. Um, I will go about my day. I will do a quick, quick check-in at the end of the day. I have a super busy day today, but I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day and kind of see how they, you know, really hold up. And yeah, I think that's about it for now. I will check back in with you guys later, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I am back at the end of the day with my final check-in and final thoughts on these new makeup products here. So I've not touched up all day. This makeup has been on since this morning and now it is five o'clock. So I'm getting ready to eat dinner. And then I have to edit some other videos and such, so I have to wrap this video up. <laughs> Too much going on today. So um, final thoughts on everything though. Eye makeup still looks amazing. Everything face-wise still looks amazing. I feel like nothing faded too much. I kind of forget. I honestly haven't even looked in the mirror much at all today. Let me know what you think. If you see anything you know, different, let me know in the comments, but everything still looks pretty good. It might've faded like slightly, but nothing terrible. Um, for the concealers, cause that's kind of like the main thing that we all struggle with, I feel like is finding a concealer that lasts all day looking perfect. So that is what I'm gonna really zoom in on and really look at today. Yeah, the cheeks and everything still look really good actually. When I'm looking up close, in this mirror, it kind of looks like it faded slightly. Um, but when I, look, when I look up close, I'm like, oh no, it still looks good. I did touch up some lip gloss though, not too long ago. So that's the only thing I touched up today. All right, so let's look up at concealers up close here. All right, Anastasia side looks perfect the Anastasia side is so pretty yet like flawless you guys no creasing no caking no sinking into little lines like it still looks really smooth mm, the rose ink side doesn't look terrible but it's not as smooth anymore and it looks at, has a little bit of dryness right here compared to the other, the Anastasia side. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see up close and see if you can tell. Um, but that is what I see when I look up close. I see a little bit of dryness, like right here with the rose ink side, and I don't see that on the other side. Okay, super zoomed in here at the end of the day, not always the most fun, <laughs> but I want you guys to see um, exactly what I'm talking about with these concealers. So if you can see a little bit of dryness right in here with the rose ink, I can see it myself. I don't know if it's, you know, something that the camera's gonna pick up, but I see it, you know, very slightly. It's not horrible, but compared to the Anastasia side, it's more smooth and still looks completely smooth and flawless on that side. No sinking into lines or wrinkles or anything like that. Actually, on either side, the only difference I see is the rose ink just has some slight dryness, like right, where is it? Like right in here, if you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. The camera doesn't always pick up what obviously my eyes can pick up. Um, but I wanna zoom you guys in so you can hopefully see. All in all, they're both really pretty concealers on. I just think the Anastasia one holds up like simply flawless throughout the day. Like it looks really good. 
The rose ink is like, mm, it's not gonna be my favorite. It's not gonna be one that I like constantly reach for. There's definitely other better options that I'm liking better. Unfortunately, because it is a clean brand and you guys know I love clean products, especially under my eyes, because I don't wanna be putting a lot of like stuff that I don't want on my skin, especially under my eyes, but mm, rose ink was not my favorite. But like I said, I think for the rest of the face products that we use today, I think everything looks really good yet, super pretty yet, and that's good because I had a very busy day. And honestly, like I said, I barely looked in the mirror all day. So I'm happy with everything, you know, how everything else held up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review on all these new Sephora makeup products. I will link everything that I used down below in the description box. You can open it up there for links and all that. Um, let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products, specifically either of these concealers. Let me know how they worked out for you. Let the rest of us know how they worked for you because that's just me and my eyes and how they worked on me. So let us know your thoughts if you've tried them. But thank you all again so much for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.